Good morning, um, uh, viewers, and welcome to another edition of Conversations on Indian Heritage by me, Navina Jaffa. And uh, this time we bring to you an amazing lady who has been instrumental in reviving um, the weaves in Assam in a contemporary context. And um, I welcome today in our conversation, Ms. Krishna Sharma, a uh, firebrand lawyer, corporate lawyer, and extremely aligned to the idea of Indian heritage. Welcome, Krishna. Uh, thank, you. thank you for accepting you. my invitation to join on uh, out-of-the-box conversations on Indian heritage. Assam is really in the uh, center of so many aspects of COVID. You have the Brahmaputra and you have the women, uh, tell me about this amazing book that you have taken out, uh, A Sam and a Journey Through Its Textiles. Thank you, um, Navina. So th this, is, this is the book. This is the book. And, uh, you know, I had long wanted to do something in the textile area. And one of, like, you know, uh, the, the ideas was that uh, we do not have proper documentation of our designs, of our, you know, silk rearing um, uh, heritage. Um, and I wanted to put it all together. And this is like not a sudden uh, thing, you know, it happened much earlier. In fact, uh, you know, I'm wearing Muga, as, as you can see. And uh, we got, uh, you know, the uh, geographical indication protection for Muga for uh, the Assam uh, Inescal Aztec, Assam Science Technology Institute. And uh, uh, this was in 2007. So this is like an, a long germinating, uh, you know, uh, interest that I finally uh, put it together in this illustrated history because okay. this book is not just about textiles. Okay, so I, um, you know, of course, the GI for Muga, mm -hmm. uh, which makes it so exclusive. So by displaying what you're wearing, can you pinpoint exactly three reasons? One, the geographical indication, which is so uh, organic to the place where Muga is rare, uh, you know, outdoors. Can you give three indications what makes Muga so special vis-a-vis -vis the Muga silkworm, vis-a-vis -vis the mulberry and the ivy? Yeah, sure. So uh, Muga is uh, endemic to Assam, you know, and the surrounding geographical area, but mainly to Assam. And this is because of the river Brahmaputra and the valley, you know, so the trees on which the insect, uh, you know, uh, eats is uh, uh, two plants called the Som and the Tualu or Hualu. And these grow in the Brahmaputra valley because of the climatic and the soil, uh, uh, you know, which is very special to that area. One, it's, it's rainy, it's humid, it's hot. Uh, the soil is uh, acidic with high iron content. So that makes like, you know, this trees endemic to that area, number one. Number two, the very, uh, you know, the Muga is uh, a very special silk. It's the strongest silk, it's very durable. It's, tens it's, it's tensile. And also it is, uh, you know, the, the golden color, uh, it actually shines with more use. Um, and, on, on, and the third aspect is that the design, uh, you know, uh, uh, language of, uh, you know, Muga is very special to many of the tribes that kind of are from this uh, area. And there, is, there are historical records going back to centuries about you know the designs for example the boros used to trade uh, you know with uh, the Bhutanese on the muga uh, muga used to be exported from uh, the uh, haldira you know customs house which was in gualpara between the ahom kingdom and the uh, you know rest of the world including it went all the way to japan for wow. you know yeah for kimonos and if you see you know the design i am wearing today it's a carby design. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you see it? Yeah. Yes. So this is a carby design. It's a carby design. And it is uh, geomorphic. It's a bird. Okay. 
So, and then I'll show you another design. Can you just show me this? This is a missing design. Though it is in a airy, can you see it? Yes. Yes. So this is a, uh, you know, a tree with two birds. Very, very, very uh, specific to the different tribes. And what you call as an Assamese textile is nothing but, uh, you know, um, a, 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 a whole of all these different, different elements. And I do think, you know, Navina, I hope that you will like, you know, curate um, a, 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 a journey through this, you know, showcasing these different tribes, their way of life, it's so intrinsic. So you know? uh, we come to this uh, question, when you are curating a tour on the idea of tribes, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, the whole idea of the exotica, mm -hmm. uh, that we are going to see some like an unusual animal. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, having been born in Meghalaya myself, uh, it was very important for me to introduce the empathy that you immerse yourself mm -hmm. uh, to celebrate their wisdom. Mm -hmm. So in your journey of the textiles, mm -hmm. uh, can you give, uh, give us one or two examples of the wisdom which gets reflected in the textiles? Uh, you know, and how it, uh, how the women become in fact the protector of the natural environment. Absolutely, because you know, these are, you cannot look at it in isolation because uh, you know, it is part of like the way of life. Even today, you know, if in, 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 in some of like, you know, the villages that uh, my colleagues um, and uh, you know, even I travel to, uh, it is as if like, you know, time hasn't touched them. You know, it, it's, it's really beautiful. And yet, you know, they are so uh, contemporary. Um, uh, and uh, the, the, the issue of like, you know, uh, being one with the environment to protect the environment is, is really part and parcel and extension of this. And third is that unlike in, uh, you know, other parts uh, of the country where the men are really the weavers, uh, in our area, and especially in Assam amongst the tribe, it's a women, you know, except for a few men that you may find in a place called Hajo, which was like a more of a, you know, a Kualkusi, a more of a commercial center. Uh, you will find that in most of the villages and the tribes, it's the women where like, you know, this whole heritage is kind of, um, you know, resides. And it's also passed on from women to women. Okay, so uh, the, one of the last questions I want to ask you, um, if you were to curate a tour on Assam textiles, what is the kind of route you will take? Okay. And so, how, uh, how many uh, indigenous tribes for, uh, for a, say a tour of five days, mm -hmm. uh, where you get an immersed uh, uh, experience, um, and the reason also is uh, adding to what you're saying. When I went to Majuli, I was quite shocked that the indigenous communities like the Mishing, who live still on houses made of organic matter, which is climate, uh, climate friendly, environmental friendly, the satras were all now created not with the organic material which they were. The, the satras, by the way, are cultural institutions, uh, uh, spiritual institutions, holistic spiritual cultural institutions. Of the Vaishnava. And of the neo Vaishnavite uh, movement. And they are now uh, built, unfortunately, in cement. So, it's a pity. Uh, which is, you know, not true for all areas. Majuli could be a little special, though I must tell you that recently I haven't been there. So Majuli, because it's very flat prone, you know, a lot of like, you know, it goes away and therefore a lot has been built. But I reserve my comments on that. I think, you know, coming back to trying to like, you know, get um, uh, the textile, the weaving culture, the uh, you know uh, the tribes and people getting to from outside getting to know these tribes i think one of the uh, lacunae that i found was to um, where where do we have this one repository uh, to kind of you know uh, showcase this 
I, I struggled with it, you know, as, as we did with the book. Um, so one of like, you know, and I hope it happens in my lifetime, um, this uh, uh, book and, you know, whatever we are going to do in future is going to be under the ages of the Mira Women's, uh, you know, uh, Weavers Association. Mira is my mother, Justice Mira Sharma, a very exceptional woman. And I, I think that, you know, she and the women weavers of our, of our state really uh, have a lot in common in terms of the tenacity, the resilience, you know, the ability to be traditional yet like so they, you know, modern. They, they represent the Muga. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so um, uh, one of the ambition is to have a textile, dedicated textile museum near the Guwahati airport, where, you know, we have like a living village uh, we have, uh, you know, the uh, traditional methods of like, you know, uh, 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 Krishna, Yeah, but Krishna, sorry. But I wanted to know, like, in the present logistics and infrastructure, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. would be the ideal way to do a three, a four to five day program? Okay. Sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry that I digress. So I think, you know, you land in Guwahati uh, in, in the current circumstances. And uh, Hualkusi is just about like, you know, um, 30 minutes, 30 yeah. minutes from uh, the airport. So Hualkusi is still, um, it's interesting, uh, you know, in many ways. We have covered it in the book, you know, one whole uh, uh, chapter. Uh, then you, uh, I think uh, the ant, uh, which is like, you know, in the borough area, uh, it is... Uh, Okay. Um, the Chirang, Chirang, uh, you know, district. So that is about, you know, four hours, three and a half, four hours. Roads are good. Um, so the board, I, I, I think that is a very interesting experience. Uh, we have covered the boroughs. They are the largest tribe and they are the indigenous people, you know, uh, and Boro, by the way, now is yes about three districts have become like you know Bodo the uh, Boro territorial uh, area and uh, the ant is doing a lot of good work there so you could like you know take uh, your people there uh, the other area that you certainly can't miss is um, in and we went there is uh, in Tejpur, uh, Lakhimpur area so that also would take you like, you know, about um, uh, seven hours uh, to get to Lakhimpur because that is where you will get the missing, uh, you know, uh, you can, cannot miss them. Uh, and uh, unbelievable, like, you know, uh, dexterity with uh, both weaving as well as design and muga, you know. If you yeah, want to so uh, I, if I, I was reading your book and I was very intrigued to learn that uh, the Misings are the only women who can uh, weave all the seven colors together. Seven. Yes, yes, they, they use a lot of color. Uh, the Boros too, actually, the Boro yeah. women are known for like, you know, the dexterity uh, in, in uh, weaving. And, and finally, just to finish the round, uh, you would want to, you know, not um, uh, exclude the Kaziranga and uh, Majuli which you can do in like, you know, two days. So I think this should be your route. Uh, you will have to like find out the most optimal way to do that. But this is something that you possibly can't miss. By the way, we have covered in this, uh, you know, illustrated history about 13 tribes. Some of the tribes are mm. far removed from this area. And there you have to do like, you know, two different trips as well. Absolutely. One in Upper Assam. Um, you know, where you fly into Dibrugarh and do that area where the Kachin, you know, try the Singpos and Singpos you know, are yeah, very yeah, yeah, and, and the beautiful textile, beautiful Absolutely. textile. And the other is, you know, in uh, the Karbi Anglong and the Dima Hasao area. The South. And again, very, very unique and beautiful design, beautiful history. So, and uh, uh, you know, to really this textile music which you're talking about would be so interesting because. In totally, totally distinctive. Yeah, totally because in Washington, and Navina, I depend on you that you yeah. must kind of, you know, do yeah. this. Because yeah. in Washington, D.C., there's the Women and the Arts Museum, but there's mm -hmm. also a textile museum. Mm -hmm. And what I feel that if we can bring the two together, that's the mm -hmm. idea of the women and the textile. The textile yeah. museum itself must have a, a logistics yes. to, um, to sort of give the real immersive experience. So yeah. they must have a textile journey um, division. Yes. 
her travel division that takes across to the idea of the women as a uh, very, very important. And uh, it's very significant and in a time where women are quite central to the marginalization which is happening everywhere, uh, your efforts have been really commendable. And thank, thank you. you for bringing out this. Thank you. There's a lot of work to be done. I mean, this the book is just the beginning. Yes. And uh, the other thing that, you know, uh, we wanted to replicate is what Ant has done in uh, Assam. Uh, it's very much similar to like, you know, what has been done, uh, you know, for the chicken curry uh, in, you know, uh, Uttar Pradesh. Um, so, so idea is to give a platform where, you know, the women can, uh, you, you help them really uh, from, the, you know, making the, only difference the I, Yeah, but the only difference which I see between the chicken workers in UP and in Assam, they are, uh, because they are so self-contained. Their idea of affiliating with the markets is uh, in a very spiritual ecosystem. Has it has certain, been done. Yeah, it has, has, been done. has a certain equilibrium. Absolutely, you, you have to do it is, well. Uh, which is not there in the dislocation which has happened in other parts of the chicken yes. embroidery, etc. True. True, you know, because we have a uh, we in the book we have covered about five uh, you know entrepreneurs who are doing interesting right. work in the textile area. So that is a different journey altogether. But absolutely. for for the women and how to kind of you know optimize what they do within their uh, you know without disturbing their home and their village life, what is it that you can do? I think the example is really the ant uh, you know model. Yeah. So uh, uh, I, thank going you, back uh, to Krishna. The I must, we must thank the speaking tiger for bringing out this beautiful book. And uh, all compliments to you. And thank you for coming on board. And we hope to see you again and yeah. again with the lovely display of your Assam textile. Thank you. And thank the you so empowerment much. of women. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you for joining us on this inter in this interaction. I'm Navina Jaffa along with Krishna Sarma took you to have a peek on different little windows regarding Assam textiles. And uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and follow us for many more interactions with fascinating people working in this area of the white canvas of Indian cultural heritage. Thank you so much.